Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys. Welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. The service, such a simple, such a fluid, such an easy stroke, except when it's not. For most people watching this video, the serve will be a little bit of a mystery, as a powerful serve requires huge amounts of effort and is almost exhausting. And yet at a high level, the pure service stroke is one of the physically easiest strokes in the game. The biggest reason for this is how the racket is dropped and where it's dropped to. The first thing for the position is that the racket wants to be into the side of the body here, not into scratch your back and not out away from the body in this weighted position. We want to be close into the body here. And to make that happen, the elbow position should be elevated. And then how the racket is dropped, and the operative word here is dropped. You see, for most of the people watching this video, they will place the racket here. And I've just placed the racket into the right place. And it might be the right place, but it's not the right way or method of doing it. It has to be free. It has to be dropped by gravity, not by muscular force. Look at the difference. I can feel the difference enormously. Here, I place the racket into the correct place. And here, with gravity, the racket drops into the right, correct place. Now, a loose grip helps, but with the racket being 300 grams or something around there, it's still light enough for me to place it there, even with a loose grip. So if as you go into the stroke to cover both areas, to cover the correct location and the correct method of dropping the racket, if as you go into the stroke here, instead of thinking about dropping the racket, if you think about elevating your elbow, my elbow goes up, the racket goes down. Again, into the stroke and the elbow up, and the racket goes down. Elbow up, and the racket goes down. And by elevating the elbow, the racket won't drop away from me. That's unnatural. And it won't drop into the traditional scratch your back position here, which is inefficient. It will actually drop into the correct place and with the correct method. Once you actually find the correct place for the racket drop with the correct method of placing it there, using gravity to actually assist you instead of strength, then the racket becomes truly free. It becomes incredibly effortless to hit the ball very fast and with great control. So stop making the racket drop happen and start letting the racket drop happen. And when you let the racket drop happen, using the elbow to place it in the correct position, then you'll get way more power on your serve and it's a lot easier. And if you like our ideas on tennis, have a look at our off-court services. Online, I'm helping players in over 40 countries all over the world with personalized one-to-one -one lessons and video analysis. Or check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every part of the game. Everything is designed in the books to be a teaching and learning experience. They have very clear explanations and great illustrations. Everything is designed to help you become the best version of yourself. So use your elbow to create the perfect racket drop. Remember, it's not just the right place. It's also the right method of putting the racket into that place. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work. Yeah,